take two. Um, I got sidetracked. Um, today is uh, September 7th, uh, 2022. I just got back. Um, it's a Wednesday. Uh, so I was out at the Wednesday night at the Presbyterian Church. And uh, yeah, so anyway, um, I was thinking about how I'm glad uh, to have my problems. And I'm also glad that uh, I've been getting to know um, myself and uh, getting to be okay with the way that I actually am instead of trying to always pretend um, to be whoever it is I think that other people want me to be or think that I am for them. And it's like, mm -hmm. whoever it is you think I am, that's probably not it. Um, and I don't have to play into it uh, to make them feel okay. It's not my job to make other people feel okay about themselves. If they don't feel okay about themselves, it's like, well, if, I, if, I, if I can, I will uh, compliment um, as far as like, uh, you know, trying to provide a, a positive atmosphere. Um, but uh, if they're doing it to themselves um, and making bad choices and, you know, and doing things badly, it's like, uh, I can uh, make little, you know, gestures and overtures, um, but I can't change them or, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, they can recognize and make adjustments to their own behavior or they can just continue. Um, I'm thinking on today at work where I once again um, had to uh, comment. I didn't have to, but I chose to because I couldn't let it slide about, uh, you know, bad behavior um, where people are uh, vaping um, inside where they're not supposed to and uh, doing it flagrantly in violation of uh, many work-related uh, standards of health and uh, it's probably Ill illegal um, and uh, yeah uh, termina termination offense um, if uh, caught or exposed and uh, it's my supervisor who's doing it he's one of them and uh, yeah we've had this talk before and uh, today I, I noticed again after a while I think they just were waiting until I had left for the day before they resumed their normal operating be behavior um, but today they thought I had left but I hadn't I just took a really late lunch, and I came back, and I could smell the vaping smoke, and uh, it's like, ooh, and I did my best, and I thought I did a really good job of uh, keeping it contained, and, and so I was pretty happy about that, because I could have, but I didn't. And uh, I made my comments, and perhaps um, I went too far. I don't know. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, no, I am not in the wrong. I am making my observations and my comments. And if they feel bad, well, maybe they shouldn't be doing it in the first place. <sighs> Especially after the other guy got fired for that behavior because he got caught on camera doing it. Can they make the association? Can they make that connection? Are they capable that maybe they shouldn't be doing it themselves? And uh, anyway, it provide, it's not a very good atmosphere. It feels hostile to me. And uh, it's very awkward. Um, and I don't like it. Um, and so I've, I've just stopped talking. Um, to them. I'll talk to other people, just not to them. And this includes my supervisor. I will not talk to him. And if he talks to me, I'll answer whatever, but I will not, like, yeah. So, it's a, it's a very strange uh, 
you know, but I didn't create it. I have, uh, you know, expressed myself, and uh, through the ways that I know how to, um, and standing up for myself, and uh, and not just letting things slide and letting things be when something bothers me, um, even if it's just on principle. Um, but it, you know. And it, it doesn't matter to me about it being against company policy. Um, I find it disrespectful um, and a sign of, uh, you know, complete uh, disregard for other people's uh, uh, senses and uh, feelings. And uh, so it's inconsiderate and uh, insensitive um, and disrespectful um, for all the people that are working and they are just trying to spend all their time seeing if they can, you know, oh, maybe we can sneak off and go uh, vape and chit-chat and gossip and, uh, you know, get away with doing as little work as possible while other people are actually working. And, and you know, and they're getting paid the same as me and anybody else that is actually working. They're getting paid to, to vape into gossip, into chit-chat. And I've already made the comparison that, you know, even if they aren't vaping, they're still just, you know, finding other ways to do nothing and to just be lazy. Vaping gives them something to do, you know, because work is not, you know, something, that's not an option. They'd rather just be vaping. They, they want to be paid, but they don't want to actually work. So there's like a conflict for them. I don't know. Strange people. But I'm not in charge, so I can bring it to their attention and uh, let them know that they are seen and that I am talking. And I had stopped talking for a little while about it, but now the talking begins again. And uh, if they are uncomfortable and they don't like it, oh well. I can be a real pain in the ass, but yeah, so I'm having fun with it. They don't seem to be having fun with it, so, hmm, anyway, I'm not really worried about consequences if something, uh, you know, it's like, you know, they were to, you know, complain about uh, my attitude, well, I would just have to have a serious discussion about the problem. And, uh, you know, because I'm not the only one that sees it. I'm not, not the only one that knows about it. And I am reasonably well liked, I think. Um, that I would have uh, support. And, uh, you know, and I also have a, a fairly decent uh, reputation as far as being trustworthy. And, uh, you know, people take me seriously because um, I don't talk very much. And when I'm talking about something, it must really be bothering me. Because I, I, I don't have problems that I, I just deal with stuff all the time. And I, you know, so if I have a problem with something, it is a problem. I don't just go off on the littlest thing. Um, it might still be a little thing, but it must it must mean something to me for me to, you know, like, you know, this is this is something I'm going to, you know, plant my, this is a battle and I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> I'm not going to, so, I mean, it's, it's my hill to, to die on if I choose. But it is just a job, and uh, it's not my identity. I can choose to make it my identity if I want, but I don't plan on it. It is a disposable uh, position. Um, you know, and the money's nice, and it is convenient, and I have been there for a while, and I know how to do the job, but it's not what I want to do forever, right? So, you know, it just provides me the ability to uh, afford the luxury of, you know, living the life that I've got. Um, and it's not the best life. I, I have, you know other things that uh, 
you know, I think about it, and it's like, you know, I can't say whether it'd be better or worse, but uh, you know, right now I'm just in a very stable, comfortable, linear, you know, zone. And uh, yeah, I mean, I feel okay about it, but it's very, hmm, I don't know. So, I don't know. My thoughts are just a little bit shaken. Um, but I had a good meeting tonight with, uh, you know, the group. Talked about uh, fear, essentially. Um, change was the topic, officially. So I talked about the things that I talk about. And I gave one of my uh, speeches. I don't know. I don't know. I was there for it. I talked. I said some stuff. I don't know what I said. And uh, then when I was thinking, I was, after um, the fact, I was thinking about uh, hypnosis and uh, trances and uh, how I kind of have gotten into that. Um, where I, I don't really pay attention. I just, uh, I start talking, and then I'm done talking, and time has passed. And I feel good about what I said. And then I was thinking about how that same thing happens with running, because I don't listen to music when I run. And people are like, don't you get bored? It's like, no. I am composing when I am running. I am writing when I am running. I am watching movies that I've seen before when I'm running. Um, I am imagining uh, worlds when I am running. Um, I am dreaming when I am running. I am everywhere. I can be. You know, I can be thinking about the future, the past, um, coming up with ideas. Um, ways of doing things, ways that are, things that are happening that I don't like, things that are happening that I do like, or that I just don't understand. Or sometimes I was thinking about earlier today, is that one of the only things I actually do understand is that I, I understand that I don't understand so much. And it's like, I want to, but I just, it's not within my grasp. And I don't know how. So it's like, I understand that there's a problem, but I don't know what to do about it, or how to do anything about it, or if I should do anything about it, or if I could do anything about it, because it feels like an interference problem, where it's like, I, I shouldn't do anything. That's the only, and it's like, hmm. So. Or maybe I'm just not wanted. Well, that's my thing. It's like, it doesn't. If I were, I would think that I'd be let to be known. So it's like an entire relationship can't take place if the one party doesn't even know about it. So it's not like you can't break up with somebody that didn't even know that they were in a relationship in the first place. And it's like, and if it was, then it's like, well, it wasn't really that you know, connected, you know, I, I remember for a little while feeling connected, but uh, it uh, disappeared at some point, or changed into something that I can't even tell what it is now, but, uh, you know, I forget, and it's like, I try to remember, but then the story gets changed, and then I don't remember so well, and then it's like, I, and then I'm leaping off of different points, and it's like, I can't keep the story, and I've lost it. So, you know, I, I need those, uh, I need the continuity to keep things going. And without that uh, continuity, um, yeah, so, it is what it is. I wish it wasn't the way it was. Well, no, it's okay. Everything's pretty much okay. Um, I'm learning whatever it is I'm learning. 
I'll carry it forward into the next iteration. Um, and I will try not to, uh, uh, cause everybody is different. Um, so it's like how I've been treated, um, by one person does not necessarily mean that this is how I'm going to be treated by the next person. Um, every person is, um, they, but people do display similar tendencies because, you know, we are all human. Um, and it's like, I know that I have displayed some, um, personally, um, some, uh, bad behavior or bad thought patterns, um, that, uh, cause I, I, you know, and I fall into it, you know, the patterns of, uh, feeling, um, abandoned, uh, or betrayed or, uh, you know, ignored, neglected, uh, taken advantage of, exploited, um, abused, um, you know, all that fun stuff, you know, relationships, you know, that's, that's my experience of relationships, um, there's very little positive to speak about it, um, so, yeah, so, it makes it less of a thing for me, it's like, yeah, maybe I'll choose to be alone, like, I know what that's about. I know what that's like. I'm okay with that. This whole thing about meeting people and getting to know them and letting them into my life and trying to be a part of theirs. It's like, I don't know about that. That seems like pain. And uh, people seem to do it all the time. And it's like, why? It's like, I'm, I don't have a problem with effort and labor and work and communication. I mean, I do, but, um, but, uh, I don't know. It's confusing to me and it doesn't, it hasn't yet, uh, to, uh, actually develop, um, for me into something, uh, lasting, um, and, uh, tangible, um, so I just keep looking and uh, trying to, you know, be available and accountable um, emotionally. Um, my emotional intelligence is still uh, mm, questionable. Um, I am, I'm coming from an experience of uh, less experience. So people might give me credit for knowing things that I do not know. <laughs> it's like, well, how do you get to be, you know, as old as you are without knowing this or that? Or it's like, well, it's a long story. Would you like to hear it? So the getting to know me process, if a person dares to try, um, is, uh, or the, uh, it's a culture shock, maybe. I'm a culture of one. And, uh, I don't know. I haven't met many people like me. Maybe it's the being autistic part. Um, and I don't meet very many autistic people. Um, I know a few, but, uh, you know, we are all on different places on the spectrum, but we don't communicate. They are in a different place. And, uh, but it is interesting, you know, to know that we share that in common. Um, like, I know you, but you don't know me. Or maybe you do, but you don't let on. Or maybe you get the sense of something being okay about me. Like some sort of comfort that, like, yeah. No, I'm not a threat. Um, so, an understanding, a kinship, a frequency, a channel, a wavelength. So, yeah, it's all very interesting, but anyway, I'm tired of talking, so I'm going to go.